here in Brownsville, Texas, where more than 20 members of Congress just toured a detention facility and are now holding a press conference inside the Brownsville International Airport. This is the only chance that reporters, journalists, that we have of actually knowing what's going on inside these detention facilities. My colleague Lilia Luciano and I have made multiple requests to make it inside these, these facilities, these detention centers. We haven't been able to, so we're gonna head inside and find out what these members of Congress had to see for themselves. This is a concrete floor with children lying down on it. Unbelievable. There, and there we were. We have to say this about ourselves. We're looking at these people. We're gawking at them. We can have the debates on immigration policy later. This has to stop. If you have an ounce, an ounce of humanity in you, Mr. President, set this straight right now. If you need a law, we'll pass it. If you need money, we'll make it available. But the one thing that is needed is for this man to lead this nation in its goodness, not in its bad. Congressman John Garamendi, who represents the cities between San Francisco and Sacramento, called for immigration reform, starting with an end to the zero tolerance policy, which brought about family separations and the immediate reunification of all families, which the Trump administration has said they've attempted to do with the president's recent executive order. The president's order did have the effect of allowing these mothers and children to stay together, mm -hmm. but not all of them. Department of Homeland Security officials have said roughly 500 children of the 2,300 that have been separated from their families have been reunited, but it's still unclear where and when the rest of the reunifications will take place. One of the things you said during the press conference is that if you want us to sign a law, we'll sign a law. Yes. Part of that might be conceding some things. What are you willing and your fellow Congress members no, willing to it's concede? It's not a concession. We have called for comprehensive immigration reform for decades. The elements of that are still there. There's border security, not a 2,000 mile wall, but it's something that makes sense. Using technology, put fences up where they're necessary, do the repairs. Border security, absolutely essential. And by the way, open the ports of entry. 